So have y'all seen these teacup nails that are giving serious Bridgerton vibes, fine china vibes? I'm all for it. So the first set I saw is by Izzy Did My Nails and these were the ones that were going crazy. She got the nails and the teacup to match. So I really like these. I think they are super, super cute. But then I saw these from House of Nails and Oh my God. These are giving like, my grandma said, don't touch the fine china vibes. <laughs> like, whoa, it, these are so intricate. The level of detail, the sculpted plates and teapot, like, oh my God. So I'm not gonna lie, I am intimidated to try this, <laughs> but y'all know me, I'm always gonna give it a try. So these are my nails. I'm going to be doing the right hand today because uh, these are going to be pressed ones. So as y'all know, I've been using this peel off base coat and it's been working wonders. These are my denim duckies that I was able to take off. And yeah, these have really been causing a stir on my page, but it's like, just have a little fun y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, peel off base coat is where it's at. So that is what I'm gonna do first. Well, first I'm just gonna go in with some regular base coat and because these nails are going to have some sculptures on them, um, I physically cannot keep them on. This is strictly for art. But yes, I love putting down a base coat before I put on the uh, peel off base coat because like I said before, it used to tug a little bit when I just didn't put anything under the peel off base coat, but now it works amazingly. Like I don't have to try too hard. I just use some of that, the one kill gel remover. You're supposed to put that around your nails and under your nails and give it a little bit to absorb and it comes off y'all. Like I could get crazy with these nail designs because I know that I can take them off. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, cure that base coat. All right, and then we're gonna go in with the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Gel. I've had some comments asking me where I've gotten these and it is from Zillaboo. I'll make sure to leave the link down below. I also have a discount code if you guys wanna save some coins. But yeah, that is where I get it from. And uh, you just wanna put a nice thin even layer. I don't wanna go too thick because I want my nail tips and stuff to fit still. So just a nice thin layer. I like this stuff because for the most part, it stays on until I want to take it off. There has been times where I was like buckling in my baby and in her car seat and my thumb popped off. <laughs> but those are very rare cases. For the most part, this stays on until you take it off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this as well. All right, got my nail tips all picked out and I'm just gonna use my Young Nails glue to glue these on. And just put a little bit on the underside and just place it on the nail. I like to hold it for about five seconds or so, like so. All right, nails are all on and I'm gonna clip off the tips. I like using these type of tips because if I want a really sharp coffin, you just clip the little points off. Of course, I'm gonna go in with shaping and stuff afterwards, but this is just a nice little guide. And because this design is gonna be over the top, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the length pretty much like this. So next, I'm just gonna take my buffer and lightly take the shine away from the nail tip. I know some people say that they can't do this when they glue their nails on, and I understand because that used to happen to me all the time. I would glue my tips on, try to file them, and then the tip would just pop off. <laughs> And it's because you're not using a strong enough glue. So that is why I like the kids glue and I like the young nails glue. Those are strong and you can file your tips without them popping off. So for this design, I'm gonna be using the Patty Gel and a marshmallow. And I think this will be the perfect color, the perfect base. It has a little shimmer to it. So it's kind of gonna give me a little bit more than just a plain white. So we're just gonna get a little dollop. Well, that's a big dollop. <laughs> but I've really been trying to work on making my nails structurally strong, but thinner. <laughs> so for my slip, I use 91% alcohol and I'm not gonna try to get it all in one go. So I'm just gonna work on the tip first 
And then if I need more, I'll go back in with a second bead. Then we're gonna go ahead and smooth this out first. And yes, I feel like this is, it's not like a, you know, bright white. It's kind of a, kind of, I wouldn't say translucent, but it's not like that, that harsh bright white. So I feel like this would be the perfect, you know, base for like our fine china. <laughs> and of course, you know, I told them to add, add some glitter to my china, okay? Oh yeah, this is gonna be really cute. And of course, the patty gel is amazing to work with. This stuff has been making nails just so much easier, way less headache. <laughs> I've used acrylic for years and it never really bothered me up until a couple years ago where it's just like the smell of that monomer really gives me a headache. So I'm glad I'm able to still enjoy doing nails without having to worry about like the fumes and the smell. With the patty gel, you get to take your time. You don't have to rush and you can perfect your shape. Like, oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. So my birthday is coming up. It's Saturday. So by the time this video posts, it'll be my birthday. But I haven't decided what nails I want to wear. I'm going out to dinner. You know, when I film my nail videos, they kind of get in the way of like how I really want to wear my nails like out in the real world. So I think, um, I don't know. I may probably film a little short or something about, you know, what I'm going to do for my birthday nails. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep working this shape until I like how it's going. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that and we'll come back with our second bead. All right, and now for our cuticle bead. Okay, I feel like that's just a little too much. All right, so I'm just going to make sure the cuticle is nice and tight. But yes. Ooh. All right. All right. And just blend this down the nail. And I feel like I just need a little tiny bit on the tip here. And the center was just a little see through. So we just want to make sure the coverage is even. That is all. All right. Patty gel is all laid. Man, I wish I could just stop the video right here and wear my nails like this. Y'all won't let me though. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna wipe these with my 91% alcohol. Gotta do a little bit of filing and shaping and we don't want the tacky layer to get stuck in our nail drill bits or our file. So just go ahead and wipe and you know, anywhere else where it's sticky. <laughs> All right, so taking my hand file, just gonna lightly refine the shape. All right, nails are all file shaped and buffed. Ooh wee. I'm loving the shape. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna go in with some matte top coat. When I'm painting, I'm not the best at painting, so it's easier if it's on like a matte surface. I feel like the gel polish doesn't run as much. Yeah, the gel polish doesn't run as much and it, and it also has like crisper lines, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna put a coat of this, nice, even, and thin and we get to see a sneak peek of what it would look like if it was glossy. I just love the shimmers in the marshmallow patty gel. It is just so pretty. So if you guys are interested in the patty gel, make sure to check the links down below. You can also shop the shelf or head over to longcareprettynails.com. This is so pretty. Oh yeah, I might just, <laughs> I might just do my other hand like this and this will be my birthday nails. All right, nails are matte. And I'm gonna go in with this blue gel polish. Just gonna tap a little bit right here. I'm gonna go ahead and load my brush. And wish me luck. 
Yes, I've gotten very quiet because this is hard. <laughs> I'm holding my breath. Okay, I'm just going to do my outline first. Oh, okay. I may have bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> All right. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to start over. I'm going to go even smaller with my brush. Maybe that should help. <laughs> this is starting to look a lot better. I'm just gonna fill this in. Okay, I'm just gonna cure that. I'm gonna do a lot of flash carrying. Just gonna be cleaning this up. I wanna do it a different way. Fill this in. Man, one time for these Kiara Sky brushes. I think these are probably the tiniest ones that I have. And this definitely makes this easier because y'all know I'm not that good with the hand drawn art. <laughs> I be seeing the girlies on Instagram and they be making it look so easy. All right, I'm going to go and cure this. Make sure it's to my liking first. Hold up. I just don't want my lines to be looking crazy. Okay. All right. And then we're going to put a little petal over here. I'm just trying to make sure my brush is loaded correctly. I don't like the direction I went with that. Okay, <laughs> take, I don't even know how many times I didn't wipe off. <laughs> Whew. This is so small, y'all. Okay, that's what I got for my first little flower. All right. I have to learn like the pressure to put All right, so I'm just gonna leave this like this. I'm gonna just go ahead and cure. All right, so this is what I have so far. Kind of getting the hang of it. I was trying to like look at reference photos of fine china vases and plates and stuff, but you know, I'm trying to replicate it in my own like skill set. So <laughs> I hope it's coming across. So yeah, I'm just trying to work in, you know, very small delicate strokes to where it looks like you know flowers and all type of designs and stuff but yeah i am not used to working this small Whew. so yeah <laughs> that is what i've been dealing with definitely having the tiniest brush on <laughs> on earth helps and if the weight is a little thick like it is on this one. And just take a brush and thin it out. All right, I am done with all of the fine china print. <laughs> this took so much concentration, y'all. Y'all don't even wanna know how long this took. The artist is always a little more critical of their own work. I mean, I guess it looks okay. You know, it's gonna be plates and cups on top of it. So I guess it's all right. So now I'm gonna go back in with some matte top coat. And this is because I wanna seal everything in. And I'm also gonna be using gold chrome. So I don't want the gold chrome to stick to any of this. <laughs> no. I also wiped the nails off with alcohol before doing this just to get any excess blue pigment. Um, I wanted to get that up because I didn't want it to smear. So there was a tiny bit of blue that did wipe off with alcohol. And it looks like it worked because the color is not bleeding. 
Yay. These nail designs be putting me through it, okay? And this is what it looks like matte. Okay, I like it so much better matte. And I did a little wardrobe change because this robe matches the whole aesthetic. <laughs> now we have to do the teacups and the teapot and everything. So I picked up these Issy Clays. I had these a while and this is like my first time opening them up. Um, but I want to use this one. This is what it is. How you open this? Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, so it was supposed to be sealed, but it looks like it already got something going on here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna clean this up. Some of it, you know, these came a long way. They're based in the UK, so yeah. Although the shipping wasn't that long, like I think it took maybe two or three days to get to me. Okay, so let me pull up my reference pictures. So this is what I'm gonna reference. You know, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do all of them. I don't know, we are gonna see how it turn out. <laughs> so first thing I wanna put my glove on. Let's start with a little plate first. Uh, I don't know how much I need, but I think that should do. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna need a little bit more. Okay, stay there. I'm just gonna try to press out a plate. I don't want it too big. I'm, I'm probably just gonna do the saucer because on the reference photo, there's a plate and then there's a saucer and then there's the teacup. I think I'm gonna just do the saucer in the teacup. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna press this out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not gonna be able to pick this up. Okay, maybe this is not the good surface. All right, let's take this up. Um, I don't know, I just wanna be able to pick it up without it sticking. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna roll this back in the ball. And I just wanna point out when you're working with these like molding clays, please use gloves. <laughs> the more that we're getting into like these different type of ways of using gel, you still want to make sure that you're not introducing like allergens and stuff, so make sure. Okay, my gloves is wrinkled. How do I get it flat without? <laughs> okay, I just want to see how big to make the saucer. All right, so I think I like that. And I've realized that some of the people who use this, they use acetone to like smooth it out. So I'm just gonna do a tiny bit just in case I need it. I do want to like have it because if I just do it flat, it's going to just be flat. How you make a plate shape? <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit more of this. Not sure if I'll need that much, but we'll work with it. And then I'm just going to roll this out really skinny. <laughs> Too skinny. And then I'm just going to put this around here to act as like the lip or the curvature of the saucer. So this is what we got. And I'm just going to just mold everything together. Okay, I think this should work. I know it's kind of hard for my camera to focus on all of this weight. All right, so this will kind of be the top of the plate. I still want to make the bottom to where it's just not flat. So I'm gonna roll out a little bit of this and I am gonna use this paper again because it was a, just a little difficult popping the uh, clay off of the tile. It is so hard to know how much of this stuff to use. All right, so just roll that. Okay, I'm gonna place this on the back like that and I'm just gonna hold it like this. I'm just gonna form this to where it's, you know, like I'm trying to make it like, you know, like the bottom of a plate is like domish. It's not like 100% flat. So I'm just gonna work this so it can look a little more realistic. <laughs> All right, so this is what I was getting at. 
You see what I'm saying? Like it got that, <laughs> got that saucer bottom. I just want to smooth these out just a little more. Really should be having gloves on this hand, but okay. The acetone works really good at smoothing this out. I was afraid it was going to break it down because the last time I used clay like this was for the bouquet flowers and I didn't know what liquid she was using. I'm like, is it alcohol? Is it water? I had used water and it, it still worked pretty good, but you can use acetone. I'm going to go ahead and cure this. All right. So I went ahead and made two little saucers. I'm going to file them and stuff and you know, when I get the paint. Okay, so next we gotta do a teacup. So I'm just gonna grab some more of this. I have to channel my art class in high school where we were working with clay. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna use the pointy side to open it up a little bit. I may be totally doing this wrong, but this is how I see to make it. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it up. It's like a slightly, okay, I'm gonna use this again. It's like a slightly tugging motion, but I'm also pulling up. I don't know. I'm just gonna try to get the base right, and then I'll add more height with another little ball of clay. <laughs> That's probably how I should have made the saucer, huh? <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's not quite going the way I want it. All right, we're gonna start over. Okay, I got another idea. Um, I'm gonna start with the base first. I just wanna have a base going on here. All right, so we got our little base. I think I'm on to something. Y'all gonna see in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up and then we're gonna wrap this around. And then we're gonna like, Put it on the edge to where it's going to get wider and wider. So it's like that. So let me do that one more time. I just need a little bit more to complete a few more rotations. Okay. And we're just going to continue. Go like on the outside to make our teacup. Okay, so this is the shape. I'm pretty much trying to eat that shape. <laughs> and then, uh, all right, let's see if, if I hold it down like this, use a little bit of the acetone to smooth it to where you can't see all of the noodle. I think this is a better shape. I just need to smooth it out. Yeah, I mean, I have to get <laughs> I have to get back on my clay skills, but I'm trying to create like that small base and a wide top so it can look like a teacup. But as y'all can see, the acetone is helping blend in the sides. Okay. This is way more promising. You just have to make sure to keep it up. And I'm just switching back and forth between tools. You have to, it's like a delicate balance because if you use too much acetone, it gets soft and it won't really like hold its shape, but it will be smooth. <laughs> so I just want this to hold the shape. You know, I'll smooth it out as I go. So I found the trick. You literally have to have it upside down and I'm getting that teacup shape that I want. See? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna continue playing around with it. All right, so I got it the way that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this and then I'll put it in the lamp to fully cure. All right, here is my first teacup. That should be all right. <laughs> Okay, so now I need to add the little teacup handle. So we got a little bit more and just roll some out. I'm gonna take it from this end. Okay, so then we're just gonna, let's see what side I wanna add it on. I guess this is fine. But yeah, we're gonna try to add this on like that. Okay, I got it in place somehow. <laughs> All right, so then 
we're just gonna use our tool to further get it in place. Oh, that's coming together! You better stop! <laughs> Y'all know how excited I get when things work out. Ooh, all right. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to put this in place. Oh man, oh. <laughs> that is a teacup. All right, so here are my little teacups and saucer. I decided to only do, you know, uh, two sets because plates on every finger is just a little too much for me, so. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is see if I can clean up and file this. We just gonna take the e-file very low speed and just clean this up right and also gonna see if oh i'll just hold it <laughs> i also want to see if we can clean up the inside a little bit all right i just want to paint a base coat on just to make the painting a little more easy like so not too much because we don't want to lose the shape. All right, so next I'm just going to, we're just going to paint the, um, <laughs> the details. <laughs> Hopefully I can do this. I'm going to start with a plate. Okay, first we're going to load our brush up really well. Okay, I'm not going to get too fancy. We're just going to make it look like it's, you know, <laughs> China. You know, just very abstract. All right, now to the cup. Whew. Okay, and I've been flash carrying this as I go, because this is some of the tiniest painting that I've ever done. Goodness, it's so tiny. But, when it is this tiny, you don't have to be like so perfect because it just looks like it's a very small teacup. All right, I can't turn them. So here are my teacups. Cause it's, it's kind of hard for, for y'all to see them from this angle, but y'all get it. I need to paint them matte because we're going in with some chrome. So let me go ahead and do that. So yeah, let me go ahead and paint them matte. All right, they are matte. So I'm gonna go in with the gold chrome and I'm gonna use the rubber base. Okay, so I'm gonna pick some up on my brush. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I want. Okay, Ooh, I know the gold is gonna look good, but I kinda don't wanna mess it up. But anyway, I'm gonna start over here. And it's not going to be like a perfect border. I like how the inspiration pick is where it's just, you know, here and there. I guess it is gonna end up being a border. All right, I'm gonna cure that. And then taking this gold chrome, gonna take my little sponge here and we're just gonna rub it on there. Oh, <laughs> whoa, that sets it off for real. Okay, I'm gonna take the clean side of the sponge to get all of the excess off. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> all right, and we put some on our teacup. I'm just trying to make it straight. Okay, and then Put our little gold on here. And then the plates. Ooh, it's gonna be so cute. All right, so I top coated all of my charms here. So I'm gonna go ahead, even though I really like how this looks matte, but I just think if I put, it's supposed to be fine china, so it has to be glossy. So we gonna put our top coat on. And this also seals in the chrome powder. All right, we all glossy. <laughs> okay, so now I have to assemble these. So I'm just gonna take some of this rhinestone glue and just a dollop would do. 
and we're gonna place you right in the center like so and then where's my flash care what's my flash care I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure it and then put it in my full cure lamp for 60 seconds. And we're gonna do that for the second teacup. Okay, so I'm gonna try something with these charms because I ain't gonna be able to wear them too long. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some peel off base coat like where I wanna put the charms. So I'm gonna put some right here. Just so I will be able to <laughs> hopefully get these off and then we're just gonna squirt a little bit of this out and place it right on the nail like so and then here oh that looks kind of cute inside the lamp I'm not sure if y'all can see that oh but there it is look how cute that is <laughs> Ooh, okay, all right. And for the other one, I'm gonna put it on my thumb. All right, here is the finished look. I think these are so cool. So yeah, this took a long time, y'all, sculpting these, this saucer and teacup. But look, oh my God. I actually pulled this off. So yeah, you can see it better like this. And we can't forget, you know, matching the vibes here. <laughs> I've been hiding my hand from you, but I want to show you my you. nails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. That actually looks like is a. It, a is it giving fine china? It, it does. This is really tall. It is. <laughs> it's really tall. <laughs> You can't do the baby's hair with these. No, I'm That's gonna be cool, taking though. these off. That's dope, though. You don't even want to know how long all of this took. No, now I do. Two <laughs> sessions. <laughs> two. Oh, it took you two days. Yes. Dang. Yeah, that is cool. What'd you make this out of? Out of? Um, it's like this this gel clay stuff. Oh, okay. That other stuff you use on that. Them flower nails. Mm -hmm. Look at you. you. You know a little sound sound, you know. <laughs> but yay. Okay. I'm glad you like these. So, do you like these more than the duck nails? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. They, they still a little extra on top, but I'll take that over duck anything. <laughs> yay. So, are they hubby approved? I'll give you an approval for these. I'll give you an approval. <laughs> Yay! Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Do you like mommy's nails? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no shake. What's this? A cup? Shook. <laughs> you analyze it. I know it. what you Yeah, it's a cup. Cup. <laughs> so would y'all try these fine china teacup nails? Would you? <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. I may do a short showing y'all how I take the charms off. If it works, I'm hoping it works because I can't walk around with the teacups on. All right, so as y'all know, I put down the Jello Jello peel off base and I want to take this one off. So let's see if I can do that. You gotta go in with the one kill gel remover. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. <laughs> Is this not gonna work? Okay, <laughs> my plan didn't work. All right, I was actually able to take it off um, by using my nippers and it came off clean. As you can see, it didn't mess up the gel design. I kind of want to reposition it, so I'm just going to apply it the same way. File this down a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna clean this a little bit with some alcohol. Yay, so I'm able to pop this off. It does work, I just need to use nippers. And clean that. So I'm gonna put some more of our Jello Jello. Okay, I'm glad that this did work because it kind of sucks when like, I like the nails and I do a crazy charm on top. Okay, so go ahead and cure that. And also while I was trying to take it off, I think the one kill kind of took off the chrome. So I'm gonna fix that as well. 
And I wanted to do it this way so it can look better in pictures. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. And now I have to retake all of my pictures. <laughs> So if you made it this far into the video, that means you like crazy nail designs. So you should watch more. Check out these videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.